wood, metal, or tube, and fabric. Which construction method delivers the perfect balance of simplicity, cost, and performance for licensed free flying? Today, we're comparing different building approaches to discover the ultimate answer. Which material builds the best Part 103 ultralight aircraft? Wood and fabric construction at its purest form within Part 103 regulations comes from a design that Team Minimax describes as a full-scale balsa model. The Minimax 103 employs spruce and plywood truss structure with glued and nailed gusset plates covered entirely in doped fabric. The company boldly states that anyone who has built balsa model airplanes possesses sufficient experience to tackle this real flying machine, transforming hobbyist skills into actual aviation construction capability. Kit arrives with complete wooden airframe components, detailed plans, and factory support, requiring approximately 300 hours of construction time for typical builders. This timeline fits perfectly for weekend workshop progress without becoming endless multi-year project. Empty weight at or below 254 pounds, maximum five gallon fuel capacity, cruise speed under 55 knots, and very low stall speed for safe operations. Practical performance with Hearth F33 engine, producing 28 horsepower, delivers cruise speeds around 50 to 55 miles per hour, and stall speeds approximately 26 to 28 miles per hour, with short takeoff runs from grass strips. Flight characteristics feel like genuine airplane, three axis control with stick, rudder pedals, proper flare technique during landing, and optional tail dragger configuration. This is not motorized hang glider, but rather micro classic airplane that happens to be extremely light. A wood construction brings significant advantages. Simple tools, including saws, sanders, clamps, drills, and epoxy glue suffice for entire project. Repairs remain straightforward when pieces crack, allowing builders to cut replacement sections, glue them in place, and reinforce locally without specialized equipment. Material costs generally run lower than aluminum sheet and metal forming machinery. However, wood demands discipline regarding moisture control, prohibiting storage and leaking hangers, and requires frequent visual inspections, seeking cracks, moisture damage, and loose hardware. Yet some builders reject wood entirely, trusting only riveted aluminum to carry them skyward. All metal construction throughout the airframe represents the perfect counterpoint to wooden building philosophy. Hummel Aviation markets their design as all-metal ultralight, emphasizing its status among the rarest Part 103 aircraft built entirely from aluminum without any fabric-covered tube, fuselage, or hidden wooden structural components. The Hummel Ultra Cruiser stands as single-seat, low-wing design featuring cantilever wing without struts, with fuselage and wings constructed from riveted aluminum sheet. No fabric-covered tubes, no structural wood. Everything uses formed sheet metal, spars, ribs, and stressed skin working together as integrated structure. Hummel designed this aircraft from inception for Federal Aviation Regulation Part 103 compliance, and the company website emphasizes this achievement. Part 103 Legal Accessible Construction Methods, and specifically engineered for first-time aircraft builders approaching their initial project. Typical power plant uses half a Volkswagen engine, essentially half of Beetle automotive engine adapted for aircraft use, producing approximately 28 to 37 horsepower. Four-stroke configuration delivers low fuel consumption, deep sound signature, and smooth operation. Flight performance shows cruise speeds around 55 to 60 miles per hour, low stall speed, open or partially enclosed cockpit, and metal airplane behavior. Predictable responses, minimal vibration, and none of the screaming two-stroke engine characteristics common among ultralights. Metal construction advantages appear immediately obvious. Familiar structure for anyone trusting Cessna or RV designs using rivets, sheet metal, and spars. Good moisture resistance emerges when builders maintain proper corrosion control and drainage systems. Individual panels can be replaced without redoing entire fabric envelope systems. However, sheet metal construction demands proper tools and precision, bending, drilling, deburring, and aligned riveting require careful technique. Major cutting errors on expensive pieces can mean discarding entire components and starting fresh. While metal builders prize precision, another construction philosophy dominated ultralight history through sheer simplicity. Bolted aluminum tubes wrapped in sailcloth. Tube and fabric construction within ultralight aviation history finds its ultimate definition in a design using bolted 6061T6 aluminum tubing with generous wing area measuring 156 square feet. High wing configuration with cables and struts supports everything covered with pre-sewn Dacron sail envelopes providing finished aerodynamic surfaces. The Quicksilver MX delivers performance numbers that exemplify exactly what Federal Aviation Regulation in Part 103 requires. Empty weight reaches 250 pounds, 5 gallon fuel capacity, accommodates Rotax 447 engine producing 40 horsepower, cruise speed approximately 50 miles per hour, and stall speed nearly 24 miles per hour. This aircraft 
carries profound historical significance. When the Federal Aviation Administration drafted Part 103 regulations, Quicksilver aircraft were already flying operationally, demonstrating practical reality of safe, slow, stable ultralight operations that regulations ultimately codified into law. Construction process functions almost like giant Meccano set, numbered tubes, connection plates, bolts, steel cables, and Dacron sails that dress wings and tail surfaces. Builders need not dope and finish fabric from scratch unless they choose to, as the process emphasizes assembly rather than fabrication of individual components. Relatively quick assembly uses many prefabricated parts, while visual inspection remains remarkably easy. Cracked tubes, loose cables, and torn fabric all appear obviously during walk-around inspections. Tube and fabric construction established itself as ultralight standard for compelling reasons. Rapid assembly, straightforward inspection accessibility, and abundant availability of replacement parts, sales, and technical knowledge. However, fabric requires replacement after years of sun, rain, and ultraviolet exposure deteriorate material integrity. External structure suffers from strong ground winds and careless handling more than enclosed designs. Nostalgia triggers perfectly here, but nostalgia took another form for pilots dreaming of miniature cubs built entirely from wood and classic techniques. Wood construction within Part 103 reaches another level entirely through a design created in 1981 specifically to satisfy federal aviation regulation requirements. Designer Michael Fisher targeted 250-pound empty weight using lightweight two-stroke engine typically Rotax 277 producing 28 horsepower while delivering genuine Piper Cub aesthetics and handling without any certified aircraft paperwork. The Fisher FP202 Koala employs 100% wood construction and not ordinary wood either. Fuselage uses geodesic construction with strips forming truss containing multiple redundant load paths throughout the structure. Wings feature strut braced configuration with jury struts and both wings and fuselage receive doped fabric covering in classic style. Final result produces ultralight that looks and flies like miniature Piper Cub while remaining within ultralight vehicle regulatory limits. Fisher Aircraft Company estimates 250 to 500 construction hours for amateur builders depending on normal kit versus quick build options selected. The process follows color by the numbers methodology. Builders literally position wooden strips atop full scale plans and fill the drawing like paint by numbers project except using glue and clamps instead of brushes. Performance delivers genuine cub experience with approximately 25 mile per hour stall speed and nose high, tail low attitude that J3 pilots recognize instantly. Flight characteristics reward pilots who value nostalgia and classic handling over modern composite speed. Regarding materials debate, this design presents maximum argument favoring wood construction. Demonstrates that cub appearance and behavior can be achieved using only wood and fabric materials. Geodesic structure increases rigidity while creating redundant load paths throughout airframe. Localized repairs remain relatively simple, substituting damaged strips with fresh components. However, like all wooden aircraft, survival depends entirely on moisture protection quality. Owners must maintain careful inspection schedules and provide decent hangar facilities. While Fisher refined wood into Cub Tribute, other designers pushed tube and fabric philosophy into motorcycle-like simplicity that defined backyard aviation's golden age. Tube and fabric construction at its most basic possible form emerged when John Chotia introduced his design in 1977, becoming major protagonist during the ultralight boom of the 70s and 80s with more than 13,000 units constructed worldwide. Design philosophy remained crystal clear. Any person should be able to assemble and fly successfully. The Chotia weed hopper uses bolted aluminum tubing, high wing with pronounced dihedral angle, fabric covered surfaces, and two axis controls in early versions using pitch plus yaw with dihedral wing geometry handling roll automatically. Model J C24C employed 28 horsepower engine like Rotax 277, with later versions using Rotax 447 producing 40 horsepower. Focus never emphasized maximum speed. Instead, the concept prioritized slow flight, short landings, and operations from any minimally adequate field. Simplicity extended into finest details. Some examples lacked fuel gauges entirely, with pilots observing fuel level directly through transparent tank. Philosophy embodied backyard field operations, where owner's property became personal airport without infrastructure or certification requirements. Within tube and fabric category, this represents extremely simple construction using few tubes and minimal hardware fittings. Maintenance fits within basic tool collection, wrenches, drill, and rivets. Philosophy embraces field in the backyard as airport mentality. Trade-offs include basic aerodynamics, generating more drag and less cruise speed, while early two-axis versions require specific piloting technique without aileron control. Aerodynamic simplicity prioritizes getting airborne over sophisticated performance metrics. 
While one designer pursued ultimate simplicity in tube and fabric, another asked whether extreme lightness could replace brute horsepower, creating transparent winged machine that seemed to defy gravity itself through sailplane efficiency. Metal construction optimized to absolute skeletal minimum defines an aircraft where primary structure uses aluminum with wings employing metal main spar and leading edge plus foam ribs, originally covered with transparent mylar film, later replaced by Tedler, providing better ultraviolet resistance. High aspect ratio wing and enormous span deliver excellent glide performance and appearance dramatically different from other ultralights. The design resembles glider with two small engines rather than powered ultralight. The Ultraflight Lazare uses twin Rotax 185 engines each producing 9.5 horsepower, providing redundancy without excessive weight penalty. Result produces ultralight that flew comfortably within part 103 velocity and weight envelope in lightest single seat versions. Reputation emphasized efficiency with low sink rate and modest fuel consumption, thanks to enormous wing area and minimalist structure. Performance characteristics attracted pilots seeking sailplane like experience with engine security backup instead of raw horsepower and speed. Regarding metal construction philosophy, this demonstrates extreme approach. Uses aluminum and film to minimize weight to absolute maximum degree possible. Dispenses with heavy covering materials, making transparent film part of visual signature. Wings disassemble with few bolts, simplifying trailer transport significantly. Obviously, this approach carries costs. Very light structure depends on careful pilots, respecting load limits strictly. Transparent film requires attention during replacement and ultraviolet protection maintenance procedures. Metal push to theoretical lightness limits here proves that aluminum need not mean heavy construction when engineering focuses obsessively on every gram. Yet, while some designers eliminated weight through sparse structure, others asked whether premium modern materials like honeycomb cores and composite layups could shrink classic aircraft DNA into ultralight dimensions without sacrificing cub nostalgia. High-tech reinterpretation of Piper Cub aesthetics emerged when designer James Weebay presented his tribute at AirVenture 2012, employing extreme lightweighting techniques to achieve ultralight classification while maintaining classic appearance. Mixed construction philosophies aggressively, riveted aluminum tube fuselage, birch plywood wing ribs, optional carbon fiber main spar, and innovative Oracle vinyl wrap exterior finish replacing traditional heavy dote fabric and paint systems. The Billite Ultra Cub targets every possible gram of weight savings through this material cocktail. Landing gear uses simple spring steel straps, providing lightweight shock absorption, while folding wing design enables trailer transport and compact storage, matching modern ultralight practicality expectations. Billite equipped the aircraft with half Volkswagen four-stroke engines producing approximately 45 horsepower, burning only 2.5 gallons per hour while cruising near 54 knots. Stall speed, approximately 24 knots, ensures safe short field operations. Vinyl wrap exterior finish represents clever innovation. Adhesive Oracle film applies directly over substrate structure, eliminating traditional fabric doping and multiple paint coats that add substantial weight to conventional covering systems. This technique alone saves several pounds compared to traditional methods while providing weather protection and customizable appearance. Carbon fiber. Main spar options reduce additional weight for builders absolutely committed to staying beneath regulatory limits, though exotic materials significantly increase construction costs and repair complexity. This creates excellent retention hook. If other projects on this list seem to demand months or years of construction, this aircraft offers shortcut where builders still assemble, still own the process, but most heavy work arrives completed. Perfect balance between kit building satisfaction and rapid path to actual flying. While plug and play convenience attracts many builders, another designer asked whether mixing steel strength, aluminum efficiency, and wood aerodynamics could create the most legally bulletproof ultralight ever conceived, with name proudly declaring its regulatory compliance. Ready to fly, package represents the plug and play approach within part 103 world. Instead of starting from raw plans or basic kit, builders can purchase the Aerolite 103 as highly advanced kit or practically complete aircraft with fuselage, wings, control surfaces, struts, and jury struts pre-assembled from factory. Structure uses predominantly aluminum with lightweight fabric covering, with manufacturer working from beginning to maintain empty weight within 254 pound limit. Various engine options exist, ranging from 28 to 50 horsepower, including Hearth and Minari power plants, always respecting part one, zero three envelope, maximum five gallon fuel capacity, maximum level flight speed, 55 knots, and stall around 26 to 28 miles per hour with flaps deployed. Performance specifications from UFLY. It show best angle climb speed 40 miles per hour, best rate climb speed 45 miles per hour, stall with flaps 26 miles per hour, everything perfectly within Federal Aviation Administration requirements. Regarding material choice, this represents metal plus fabric, ready to use approach. 
heaviest engineering work arrives solved from factory. Builder concentrates on final assembly and adjustments rather than fabricating each individual piece from scratch. Ideal for pilots wanting metal and tube fabric benefits without years of workshop construction time, consuming weekends and evenings. This creates excellent retention hook. If other projects on this list seem to demand months or years of construction, this aircraft offers shortcut where builders still assemble, still own the process, but most heavy work arrives completed. Perfect balance between kit building satisfaction and rapid path to actual flying. While plug and play convenience attracts many builders, another designer asked whether mixing steel strength, aluminum efficiency, and wood aerodynamics could create the most legally bulletproof ultralight ever conceived with name proudly declaring its regulatory compliance. Mixed materials, combining tube, steel, aluminum, and fabric, demonstrate modern evolution of ultralight construction when engineering intelligence guides decisions. Launched as evolution of the Firestar design with specific objective of complying with part 103, despite accommodating heavier engines like Rotax 4, 4, 7, producing 40 horsepower. The Cold Firefly achieves remarkable balance through intelligent material selection. 4130 chronolized steel tubing forms forward fuselage and landing gear structure. Aluminum tubing comprises tail boom and control surfaces, while fabric covered aluminum wing structures feature full span flaperons for exceptional control authority. Empty weight ranges between 248 and 252 pounds, depending on engine choice and optional equipment, leaving minimal margin but proving careful design permits for stroke power within ultralight regulations. Defining feature remains folding wing system designed from inception for trailer transport and garage storage, allowing owners without hangar access to enjoy ultralight aviation. Kit assembly typically requires approximately 150 hours for experienced builders, significantly faster than traditional wood construction projects. Flight characteristics earned reputation for exceeding typical ultralight performance. Cruise speeds reach 55 to 60 miles per hour while maintaining short field capabilities and strong climb rates near 1,000 feet per minute with full power. Cold marketing emphasized that the aircraft could fly circles around competing ultralights while remaining completely legal, delivering pusher configuration excitement with legs extended forward and wind rushing past open cockpit. Hybrid construction. Combining steel strength where protection matters, aluminum efficiency where weight counts, and fabric coverage for minimal mass demonstrates how mixing materials intelligently produces better results than dogmatic single material approaches. Folding wing capability adds practical convenience that many ultralight owners consider essential for realistic ownership without expensive hangar rental. After examining wood purity, metal precision, basic tube simplicity, extreme lightness, high-tech composites, legal conservatism, and sophisticated hybrids, the question remains whether any single material philosophy truly dominates, or whether intelligent builders simply choose whatever combination best matches their skills, budget, and flying dreams. After examining pure wood construction, all metal precision, classic tube and fabric simplicity, extreme lightweight philosophy, high tech composites, legal conservatism, and modern hybrid approaches, one question remains, which material truly dominates? The answer depends entirely on your skills, budget, and flying dreams. Tell us in the comments, would you choose wood, metal, or tube and fabric for your part 103 ultralight? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.